Hello everyone, this is Vicki Verley. Thank you so much for joining me for your monthly tarot scopes. These monthly mini readings offer a glimpse into what it's really like to have a personal consultation with me. A private reading is much more personal and in-depth. I psychically tune into your energy and get visions and impressions that are specific only to you. If you would like to order a personal reading from me, or check out some of the other products and services that I offer, you can do so by checking out the link below. And now, without further ado, on to the reading. Leo. Hello, Leo. This is Vicki Verley, the Rock and Roll Prophetess. Welcome to your April 2014 Taroscope and mini astrology reading. Okay, so again, some cards are starting to pop right out all the, all already. So let's just go ahead and start throwing them out. Hmm. Okay, got a little bit more than the average cards here, but I they just sort of all wanted to come out. Um, right away, it's it seems like there's some financial crunches you're dealing with here. Uh, this is about not getting paid money that's coming to you. And it could be on a personal level. Maybe you loan somebody some money or... More often, this is more about earned money. Like you were... Uh, you did a job for somebody and they've not paid up yet. Um, or you were up for a raise and you didn't get your raise. Or a bonus. Excuse me, your bonus and you didn't get your... You know, you were shorted. You feel like you've been shortchanged. And it's not even that you feel it. it it's, you're right. You did get shortchanged. This is a fact. So that's happening. And because that money didn't come in, or maybe you sold, you were trying to sell something. I was feeling like when I went to move over to this cart, I saw this castle. So it almost reminded me of property. Or maybe, well, this is a case for a lot of people who own property. You know, you're not going to get, you're trying to sell it, you're never going to get back the money that you put into it. But whatever it is, this shortage, uh, unforeseen shortage, an undeserved shortage, um, it's put a burden on you. So you're carrying like this heavy load on your back and it's been difficult. Um, the card of this card though, um, with the, the Ten of Rods where you're carrying this heavy load, it's not that you can't handle it. Um, you are going to make it there. You are going to get there. Uh, it's just going to be a hard road. But your goal was in, within sight. I mean, you can you can make it. It's like you know, the, the home stretch there. You're just on the home stretch and you're going to make it. You know, the Moon and the Sun card is showing in the spread and we are having our eclipses this month, and I am going to get into that uh, a little bit later in the spread. We're going to, I mean, a little bit later in the reading, we're going to go ahead and take a look at that, um, the eclipses and how they're going to affect you. Uh, I want to point out, though, when the moon shows next to the Queen of Cups, very often, moon is definitely has to do with spiritual, psychic, your dreams, uh, your intuition, and the Queen of Cups is very much an uh, intuitive woman, intuitive lady. So whenever, uh, you know, the moon shows by the Queen of Cups, it's talking about your intuition. Uh, so you, you're going to be very psychic or have a strong intuition or, or there's something that's, uh, moon, pay attention to your dreams. There's something coming through that you're meant to, uh, that's trying to come through to you or you have the answers or the answers are coming through to you. And it does deal with these finances. So it's some financial moves that are available to you at, that's more on an intuitive level. You know, so it's maybe it's not going to be, maybe it, the numbers don't add up in the real world here. Maybe it just doesn't, you know, you have no way of justifying this for the ego or for your accountant or whoever, you know. But you just have this feeling about it. And if you have that feeling, you really got to trust it. Because it looks like you're turning your back on some money here. I mean, the Queen of Cups um, may not be you. Uh, and it, it could definitely be a water sign person, uh, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. But I'm feeling it is representing you because it's by the moon here. I'm feeling it's representing your subconscious, your intuition, and you are turning your back on it. You know, it feels like you're turning your back. It feels like you're turning your back on something here. Um, now, this guy's in reverse and the pentacles are in reverse, so it could even be that maybe, you, you know, this guy could lead you astray, but I'm really not sensing that. I'm really sensing that you're just... Uh, it's you. It's you not seeing it. It's not that the, it's, it's a bad deal. It's that you're not, um, you're not seeing it. Also, Ten of Pentacles is a big money card, so it very much could be a large investment we're talking about here. And sometimes Ten of Pentacles does refer to property. 
um, I want to say that your your judgment is clouded, is being clouded by what happened in the past here. So in the past, maybe you invested in property and it didn't work out. Or in the past, you loaned somebody money and they didn't pay you back. But this is a different thing. And before you just say no and turn your back on it, I think you need to give it a second look. I think you need to trust your intuition. This could be a job, too, where, oh, I worked in this field before and they, they never paid me what I was worth, so I'm not going to go work in that field anymore. But maybe this will be different. I'm feeling very much that this is different and that you're not even giving it a chance based on your past experience here. And it's not the same thing. It's a different thing. And somewhere in your gut or the, there's, in your heart, there's this little twinkling that's telling you that you want to do this, I would take the chance I would do it. Okay, here we've got Queen of Rods, so this could be definitely you. This is a fire sign person, uh, it's representing as a queen, but this is definitely you. Um, so fire, well, it could be other, an, another individual outside of yourself who is also fire. Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius are representative of the fire signs. I feel real strong this is you because the cat is standing out to me and the Leo on her chair is standing out to me. And there's different things that stand out to me to represent the different fire signs. So I feel very strong that it, it has to do with Leo yourself or another Leo in your life. And another thing is the sun card is right next to her. And, of course, the sun rules Leo. So I feel like this is you. This is just talking about um, being a little down in, your d in dumps lately, your energy being kind of low. Um, also, five of cups. Um, Again, it kind of reiterates what's going on, what I was speaking of here. This is about looking at the spilled cups, looking at what went wrong, instead of realizing just how she has her back turned to this, this person has their back turned to the full cups. And that's what hope is in the future, or that's something that could still be salvaged, or something that could still, good could come out of this, or it, it all is not lost, or it's, you know, you don't need to throw the baby out with the bathwater, in other words. You don't have to... Saved, I'll never invest in real estate again. I'll never work for that company again uh, just because of one, one bad thing that happened over here. Okay, I want to go ahead and move on to the astrology because there's a lot happening this month. There's two eclipses this month. And eclipses are much more powerful than your average new or full moon. The eclipse represents, uh, is powerful and it lasts for like six, usually six months uh, time rather than just one month. So what I'm going to do is put Leo on the Ascendant. Now, the Ascendant is also known as the Rising Sign. So, if you know your Rising Sign or your Ascendant, you probably want to view that video as well. All right, the first eclipse is happening in Libra on April 15th. So, that's your third house. So, your third house of communication, travel, uh, speaking. And there's a powerful aspects between Mercury and Pluto on both of these uh, events. So, I'm telling everybody, the Mercury square Pluto... That is saying something you may regret later. That is letting arguments and escalate and get out of hand. It's in your third house, so that's A, it could happen right in your neighborhood, or B, it's just about, um, like, I wouldn't, I would wait, if you're considering some financial deal, I would not make any decisions around that eclipse of the 15th, uh, because the full moon eclipses will eclipse something right out of your life. So if you, I wouldn't uh, say no then, just yet. I would say, hey, give me a couple more weeks to think about it. Because in a couple more weeks, on April 29th, we're going to have a new moon eclipse, and it is going to be in your 10th house of career and success in the world. So this is definitely falling under that category. So that's the time you want to uh, make your decisions. Mercury trying Pluto. So Mercury trying Pluto, there could be positive communication for big changes. So say, you know, say I'm using real estate as the example, but it, it could just be anything, like I said earlier. It could be a job. It could be anything. But it does tie into finance and money. But they say, well, okay, I got screwed in this real estate deal over here years ago or whenever this happened. Okay, so how could I do it again? What, how did I get screwed? Maybe this time I'm going to put this stipulation in the contract. You know, or maybe I, I didn't get my salary that I wanted in this job. So this time when I'm going to negotiate, sal great time to negotiate a salary, by the way, that new moon of April 29th for you. Great time to negotiate a sale price, a salary or something like that. But just uh, put the precautions in uh, or maybe I, I negotiated my salary too low in the past and I never made what I was worth. So start higher this time. You know, whatever you did wrong then. Don't keep mulling in it and, oh, well, I got screwed, I was bad. it was a bad deal, I'm the victim. What did I do wrong here? How could I do it differently this time? 
and this is how you're going to make progress, and this is how good things are going to happen. A new moon and eclipse in your 10th house, very powerful. So, all right, so um, thank you all. This is about it for the mini reading. Uh, if you want to get a personal reading with me, it's much more in-depth, and we I can really tune into you specifically. I wanted to mention everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people were asking about my deck, and I use the Hanson Roberts deck. It's spelled H-A-N-S-O-N Roberts, R-O-B-E-R-T-S. I started using it, I think, in around the late 80s. Um, I've, I've worn out many of these decks over the years. I like the design. It sort of has like a Celtic design on it. And I like the illustrations, very similar to the Rider Waite deck. But I think another big reason that I like this deck is it fits in your hands so nice. It's like the size of a regular deck of cards. So you can get your hands around it easily to do a shuffle. It's not these big, giant, bulky cards that are hard to handle. Okay, so I wanted to mention that because I had several comments asking about my deck. Uh, thank you so much for donating. By donations, I get the donations I get is making it worthwhile to do these videos every every month for everybody. And thanks to all the new clients that I'm picking up. It's been my pleasure to read for you and meet you all. Um, thank you for sharing, liking, commenting my videos, um, spreading around to other people. That's really helping build it up, and I really appreciate that from everybody. Remember that you are love and beauty incarnate, and I'll speak to you soon. What is Organite? Originally discovered in the 1930s by Wilhelm Reich, organ energy, or etheric energy, is present in living things including the human body. Reich proposed that illness occurs when our etheric body is out of balance, and that positive organ energy could realign the etheric field, thus facilitating healing and balance of one's life force, chi or prana. It has since been scientifically proven that energy called piezoelectricity, meaning electricity resulting from pressure, is created by the compression of certain materials such as quartz crystals, wood, salt, sugar, ceramics, and bones. As the resin cures in an organite piece, it shrinks and compresses the organic matter contained within. The energy emitted creates a positive energy generator. You really can feel the energy coming forth from these pieces. Organite clears the air and neutralizes negative emotions as well as electronic clutter from our high-tech devices. Each organite piece is lovingly hand-created using intuitive pairing of materials to enhance and raise vibration and aid in ascension and a spiritual awakening. I use materials from nature, including the bark from a sacred willow for grounding, and gold flakes to emulate the golden light basking down from the higher dimensions. Visit my Etsy shop for a wide selection of handmade organ pieces, especially designed for spiritual growth, including heart opening, chakra alignment and activation, and more. Visit www.organenergyflow.com Etsy.com to see more beautiful organ pieces. And remember, you are love and beauty.